Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Vince Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing uh, Camila Cabello's new album, Camila. So we're going to jump right into it. I've not heard anything except for the three tracks that we already reacted to. So I just wanted to briefly skip over those. So the first song is going to be Never Be The Same, which I already did a reaction to. So I just want to play like a little bit and then I want to move on. So that was that song. So the next song we're going to listen to is All These Years. I already like how it's more stripped down. And I feel like this could be in her vein because reminds me a lot of I Know What You Did um, last summer. I think that was the name of the song he uh, she did with uh, Shawn Mendes. So let's just keep listening. And it has a lot like real friends as well. That's the vibe I'm getting. That was a good song. I really liked it. Um, I would probably give this an A plus. And I don't know. I like it. I like it. for her voice. I liked it more stripped back type of sound. Um, sometimes the production I feel like doesn't showcase her voice as much as it could. And I feel like this is just like the perfect amount. And the albums at the end are actually really, really, really good. I really liked it. And that vocal effect she does towards the end was really cool too. I really liked that as well. So the next one I want to jump into is She Loves Control. Weird beat. Another really, really good song. Um, I'll also give this an A+. Plus. Um, she's killing it so far. Um, I really, really liked it. It had a lot of different flavors of genres in there. And I feel like it had a lot. Of, it had a mix of Latin flavor. A lot of, um, I don't know, the beat went hard too. So I really do like that as well. But I feel like it had different flavors of different types of music in there. And I just really enjoyed it. It was a really, really good song. So the next song we're going to jump into is Havana, and we're just going to jump over that because, like, who hasn't heard that song by now? So um, we're just going to play a little bit. And that was Savannah. So the next song we're going to jump into is Inside Out. So let's jump into that.
Another good song. Um, I'll probably give this one an A. I feel like it was just a touch too repetitive for me. I feel like they could um, switch up the lyrics a little bit. Um, other than that, it was a really good song. I like the B. I like her ad-libs throughout the song. I am a sucker for ad-libs, and I like how it's playing throughout the entire song. So, um, so the next song I'm going to jump into is Consequences. So let's listen. Wow, that was a really, really good song, and I usually do not like ballads. People who, who have been on this channel forever know I cannot stand ballads whatsoever, but this was really good. Um, I had to give this a A+, plus, to be quite honest. It was a really, really good song. I love how it's just a piano. There's hardly anything else happening in the song besides just her voice and a piano and just a little bit of other stuff in there. But it was so minimalistic that I really, really liked it a lot. Or minimalist, whatever. Anyway, I really, really enjoyed it. And I like the message behind the songs. Like, Loving You Had Consequences. Like, at first it was, it was sweet. It was beautiful. But then, towards the end of the song, she flips it. And it was dark. It was cheap. It was all this other stuff. So... Um, she makes you feel like um, you're going through the entire relationship and how it had consequences on her. So, um, like I said, I really enjoyed that one. So, the next song is going to be Real Friends. I already did a video for that one, so I just want to jump over that one. Aren't we all? <laughs> Uh, like, um, I already give an A-plus for that song because I really liked it because everyone could use real friends. So the next song we're going to jump into is Something's Gotta Give. Another beautiful song. I feel like this one is is definitely a highlight of the album. I definitely put this up. Definitely needs a needs to be a single. I'll give this one A plus plus. I really love this one. It had the piano in there, which I also like, and but it had like a really moving um, lyrics and beat, saying basically something has got to give because. I keep giving, but you keep taking um, from me, and you don't give anything back. So I'm literally about to break. I literally can't take this anymore. So I really, really, really do like the song. I feel like this one's definitely a highlight off this album. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy that one. So um, we're going to jump into the next song, which is called In the Dark. Oh, I love this beat. This is this is another good song. What is this album? Tell me who I am. I don't feel like I'm alive. 
another good song. Um, I'll give this an A. Um, there's just a couple little parts I didn't like, but it's like very minimal. But still, it's a very good song. And I also I like the message behind the song. It's like, who are you in the dark? Like, if you're around your, um, she said fake friends. If you're around your fake friends, you're hanging out, you're telling this face. But who are you when you're all alone? Like, show me your scary part. I feel like that goes for pretty much anybody. Like, if you're around all these friends and y'all are hanging out and you put on this face, but who are you really when you're by yourself? That's the real question. So, actually, I really do like that type of message um, in the song, too. So, I just, you know, try to be yourself, like, when you're by yourself in the dark. So, we're going to jump into the next song, which is called Into It. And this is the last song, because, like, the very last song is never be the same as the radio edit. So, I don't see the point of listening to that when I listen to the other version. So, anyway, so we're going to listen to the last song, which will be Into It. Um, another good song, um, I'll probably go this one, uh, A minus, almost a B. Um, there's just a couple of things I didn't like in it, but that's just my opinion. Um, but overall, this album has been really good. Um, I would say the only songs I really didn't like were Never Be The Same and Into It. Other than that, superb album, I really liked it. So this album as a whole is a B plus, uh, almost an A, so close to an A, but it was really, really good. I really liked it, but the standout for me was really something's got to give. I really enjoyed that one, Real Friends, and what was the other one? I think All These Years was really good as well. So I really thoroughly enjoyed those uh, three songs. Those for me were standouts to me, but especially it's got to give. I, I love that song. And that's what I'm doing for this. I mean, this album as a whole, I think, was really strong. So I think it was a really strong debut album. I feel like she really killed it with this. And I hope she does very well with this um, album. I just wish it was a little bit longer. I feel like it could have been, like, um, you could at least put Oh My God or Crying in the Club at the very end or something. I feel like those could have fit in the song. Maybe not Oh My God as much, but definitely Crying in the Club, I think, was still in the vein of this album, so I feel like it would have fit. But other than that, really good songs, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video. <laughs> so, um, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below on what you think. Do you agree or disagree? What was your favorite song, and why is your favorite song? Also, least favorite. What is your least favorite? And let me know why down below, and also suggest other songs or albums or anything like that. Just let me know down there. That's do it. And um, well, there's also music or TV shows or movies as well. So just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And have a super awesome day. And if you heard snoring, I'm super sorry about that. That was my dog. He was sleeping. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.